It starts from stillness into movement. So we're starting with a guided meditation, people lying on the floor. And then from there, the workshop continues as people begin to stretch and then exploring the space from a floor level at first and then slowly rising and they begin to travel into the space. People also make connections, for instance, connecting from their arms or connecting from their hands. So you would never think they would connect otherwise, but they come together in the workshop and meet each other in the dance. Just that connecting from an authentic place, from a core place, is healing. Oh, it's just um, such a pleasure to see people enjoying themselves. I mean, smiles are coming up, people letting go of their uh, holding and their uh, usual uh, roles and... People are uh, finding that they can communicate in ways that otherwise they would never be able to. Play is very important in it. It's, it's the key to, uh, to the workshop, really. And, and like being guided into a space where they uh, come to themselves and find their own playful impulse of expression. And, and then sharing that with each other is where they discover a, a childlike uh, you know, space again. The shadow dance is a structure which really gets the whole group uh, in, in, engaged in one uh, dance. Even though it's broken up in, in various smaller groups following each other like shadows, like follow each other's movement, but then these smaller groups sometimes form large groups, large lines of shadows. And with that, there is an opportunity to create bigger connections in the space and sometimes just uh, amazing choreographic uh, experiences. And it's empowering because you surrender uh, following somebody and you uh, experience that person's um, movement and uh, expression and then you are empowered in turn to lead yourself and that is also a, you know, a unique experience. It's, it's like the wholeness of the person is speaking, is expressing, mind, body, mind, spirit. And, um, and people keep saying that in the workshop, how much that is um, you know, a gift. The act of passive game is usually the closing structure of the workshop and it's based on the idea that one person um, is passive and is, has the eyes closed and another person the active one moves sculpts dances the passive person which is um, a huge experience of letting go and trusting on the side of the passive person, an, an amazing experience of uh, leading, guiding, shaping uh, on the side of the uh, active person. People have said that uh, being, being touched is what is making or breaking our own sense of self sometimes, you know, even though there's a lot of fear as well. For that, but um, once this this space of trusting and touching in trustful situations is open, it's it's very very uh, healing.